So what's your message to the SEC chair as you sit here in the UAE and in Dubai announcing an expansion of your business to this region, given the state of regulation in the United States right now? Who? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so look, uh, I, we, we were talking about this a little bit earlier. I find it as a, a, US, a company that started in the United States and as someone who's a US citizen, I, it's sad. Like I have sadness about this. The U U.S. is getting past not just a little bit, but by a lot. And you know, but the, the tough thing about this is you have a, a country that I think has put politics ahead of policy, and you know that's not a good decision if you're trying to invest in the economy. You're seeing, you know, certainly here in the UAE with Vara, the Virtual Asset, or sorry, excuse me, Virtual Asset Regulatory Authority. Certainly, what's happened recently in Europe with Mika. Uh, the United States is definitely stuck, and you know, Ripple, the, the, the case with the SEC, we will spend, the first time I've shared this publicly, by the time it's said and done, we will have spent $200 million defending ourselves against a lawsuit, which from its very beginning, people were like, this doesn't make a lot of sense. You have video footage of the chair of the SEC as a professor at MIT saying, 75% of these digital assets are commodities, and now he says they're all securities because he's the head of the SEC and he's seeking power, and he's putting power ahead of sound policy to grow an economy in the United States. Blockchain technologies are being invested in and pursued in the entrepreneurship outside the United States, and one of the first pieces of advice I give entrepreneurs when they come and ask me have getting something started, I'll say, if I were you, I would not start in the United States. And I think there's a lot of U.S.-based companies and even U.S. public companies that would agree with that.